Portland, Maine, the largest city in the state. Since being founded in 1786, Portland has been recognized for having a rich history in fishing, agriculture, industry, and Americana that draws thousands of tourists each year. One of these tourist attractions is the Maine Narrow Gauge Railroad Company and Museum. The museum was formed in 1993 to help educate and preserve the history of the Maine two-footers. Inside the main building, you'll find the gift shop and a small display area showcasing how narrow gauge railroading works, vintage equipment, and the history of some of the locomotives at the museum, including the engine pulling today's train, Monson Railroad No. 3. Built in 1912 by the Vulcan Iron Works in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, No. 3 served the six-mile-long Monson Railroad up in Monson, Maine, working passenger and slate trains. After the line closed in 1943, she, along with sibling engine No. 4, were sent to a scrapyard in Rochester, New York. Thankfully, both engines were purchased by Ellis D. Atwood to be used on his Edaville Railroad in South Carver, Massachusetts where they spent 50 years pulling tourist trains, as well as the cranberry deliveries to the screen house. When the museum was created in 1993, most of the Edaville equipment was bought to be transferred back up to Maine, and they've remained in Portland ever since. Our train is ready to go down the mile and a half of track, so let's take a ride with number three as she makes her way along the Portland waterfront of the beautiful Casco Bay.
this work, watching this become higher and higher. From the time it's at its highest, you don't see the ledge at all. You also do not see the beach that we're past. Inch by inch, we're crossing to the full length of our mile and a half. We have 20 cars to go before we stop. Usually we're giving car lengths to the engineer. One car length is 45 feet. A standard gauge car is 97 feet. We're six feet wide, a standard in and out all day. And you have two rivers that are flowing in the opposite direction. As we approach the end of the line, we see the distant swing bridge formerly used by the Grand Trunk Railway, of which the tracks run on part of the right-of-way. Normally, this is where the train would stop, and the engine would run around to the front for the southbound part of the trip. But due to volunteers replacing the ties at the time of this recording, the train had to stop before the runaround section. After making a stop, the passengers are allowed to get off the train and look at the engine for a few minutes before the return trip. Once the passengers are back aboard the train, number three gives the departure signal and we're on our way back to Portland.
We've arrived back at the museum grounds, in front of the Ocean Gateway building, and passengers can take a few more pictures of number three before leaving. On special occasions, the museum will operate their largest steam engine, Bridgeton and Saco River No. 7, a 1913 Forney built by the Baldwin Locomotive Works. The museum has plans in the future to operate all four State of Maine locomotives, with numbers 3 and 4 pulling the regular tourist trains, and numbers 7 and 8 reserved for special excursions. After a relaxing train trip, it's off to visit the shops, fishing ports, and restaurants in Portland. But for Monson Railroad No. 3 and the volunteers, it's off to put the train to bed, concluding another day in the 144-year history of the Maine Two-Wheelers.